Welcome to another Excel tutorial. This tutorial is going to look at another formula for summing or adding up a list of numbers. Now, for this, we want to calculate the total sales for each of these quarters. Now, we've got the highest, the lowest, and the average, but I'd like to know the total sale for each quarter. First, I'm going to do, I'm going to add another label here. So, total quarter. So, again, this, let's not make this bold. So, again, we're going to click in the cell where we want to work out the total. Now, we could just add these up, but again, Excel is fantastic at doing all the formulas for us. We start, as always, with formulas and functions. They always start with, yes, that's right, it's equals. And the formula that we're going to use today is sum. So sum, as in adding all the numbers in a range of cells. Okay, I'm going to double click here. And this asking for the numbers to add up. So I'm going to use my cursor and I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to select around the numbers that I want to add up. I'm going to click the Enter key and this will add the numbers that I have selected to add up. So total quarter. Now we could repeat this but as in a previous video we can copy this formula across all of these four quarters without adding up each one individually. Now the bottom right hand green box, if I click and hold this box and drag it across the boxes that I'd like this formula to be copied into, let go, and it will automatically generate this formula for each of these cells. But again, Excel is really clever because it knows that you're talking about a different set of cells. There's total quarters. Now let's add up these totals for each quarter. <coughs> so the grand total effectively for all the quarters over that year. So let's add another label here. So grand total. I'm going to leave this bold this time because it is a grand total. Now, if you can remember, we're going to use the same function, the sum function. So functions and formulas always start with equals, that's correct. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use sum. And then I'm going to double click sum. Now the numbers that I want to select this time, rather than in a column, we're going to select these numbers in a row. So again the enter key and there we have all the total earnings, the grand total. Thank you for watching.